Hi, hi, it's me. So, it seems that Microsoft is buying Skype. Um, hmm. Which is annoying. Um, I wonder if they, how well they are going to develop it for Linux, particularly for Android, given that obviously they want to push Windows Mobile, hence the tie-up with Nokia and Android. Firstly, as a competitor in that it's from Google, and it's a competitor in that it's from Linux. So, I don't know. Uh, I actually quite like Skype. The thing is, I, as I said several times, I use a Linux computer. Um, and um, the version of Skype on here is quite antiquated. It's version 2 point something, whereas I think the latest one for Windows is 5 point something. Um, and so there's various features that aren't available um, that I can't use, which is annoying. And then the um, um, on the the Windows one, the interface is different. I occasionally use my wife's computer, which is Windows. And I actually, I've actually got you to begin with. I hated it, but I actually got used to it. And the new interface on Skype, actually, yeah, it's actually an improvement. Once you get the, you understand how it's working. Um, yeah, it's actually not bad. Anyway. And, um, yeah, so, um, that's that. I'm not sure how I feel, feel about it. Not a fan of Microsoft as a company, but there you go. Um, so, um, yeah, so, not sure. I may start using Google Voice, so I've just got that option as well. So I've got lots of people on, we've got Gmail accounts, so... Maybe do that as well. Um, that might be something I could do. Uh, sorry, I'm playing with my phone. Um, talking of computers, I'm thinking of... Well, I was thinking of upgrading this one. The only problem is I built it a few years ago and the motherboard is so old that they basically don't make chips for it anymore, the CPU. So, if I did that, I'd have to... You know, if I were to... You know, I can just drop some RAM in, which I might do anyway. But if I want to increase, improve the chip, I'm going to need to get a new motherboard as well. Um, uh, something I've thought about for a while, I might actually start doing properly, is building a computer, but not buying a case and putting it in, but actually fabricating the case, and the case being a desk. So I can, And maybe making it out of some sort of clear plastic, acrylic or something. Um... So, right, two layers of acrylic, obviously acrylic around the edge, and all the components inside. Um, which I think if I work out how to do the mounting, shouldn't be that hard. I mean, I'll probably have to put little pegs in or something to hold the components up off the bottom. But that should be okay, I think. Um, and it might just be quite fun to do, and obviously saves space. I don't have to have the box on here. Um... I was working out ways that I could do it. Cause it could be quite quite a fun thing to do. Because if it's, it'd probably be relatively thick to to have all you know, because it needs the vertical space for the components. And I think the wiring inside isn't a problem. I mean, you can get long SATA cables and power cables and whatever, um, and have like the. So if it's say a couple of inches thick, you could easily put in a slot for a optical drive to open up. Um, and I, one of the things that always annoys me is I run out of USB slots. Um, I've got four at the back, two at the front, and they're all full. Um, not using them all at the same time. And I've got other stuff as well, but I'm always plugging and unplugging. And I could just have, like, in one corner of the desk, on the top of the desk, a load of USB slots. That might be quite quite fun. So, I don't know, I might try that. I mean, obviously, I'd have to get the acrylic or whatever plastic I use fabricated. But I think that's doable. I mean, there's companies out there that do do custom fabrication. Um, as to the legs, I don't know. I mean, one option would be to make them out of acrylic as well. Or if not, just to put them on some some sort of frame. So I'm not sure what I'd do there. But I might start thinking about it. Cause it might be quite a fun project. Um, so I might post some, some designs. What I mean, I've got to work out how much space I need inside. Um, in you know, obviously you need motherboard, chip, RAM, 
um, hard drives. Um, and the big one is going to be the the chip with the fan on top of the chip and the heat sink. What a bloody great big assembly actually. Um, and then obviously fans to blow air in and out. And then if I want to put on, I don't think I'd bother with this graphics card, I'd use an onboard one. Um, but a sound card um, would be fun. I'm not sure, because at the moment on this one I know I've got some things in there which slot vertically into the motherboard. I just have to look at the architecture for, for for what I wanted to see if that were actually the physical layout. See if I'd have to do that or if I could sort of have them a different way with wires connecting them. So it might be a fun thing to do. Um, I might try that. Um, I think we've got yet more Thunder Drama. Um, oh yay. Um, he's... Um, Mr Lord Law's made... Should we say an ill-advised video? Um, in, you know, I mean, there was this. Okay, it was a bit silly and a bit childish, but I mean, getting you know for Thunderfoot to get this fucking butt hurt about it is ridiculous. Uh, you know, I'm okay. My opinion of Thunderfoot isn't very high, but you know, he should have done checked his facts first. He's laying into Coughlin because he has beef with Coughlin. Um, but, yeah, I mean, for instance, in, in the Fraud Act, it's, you know, it's, um, the, which I think Mr. Lord Laws refers to, actually says that referring to someone's, or giving the wrong impression of someone's mental state can be counted as fraud. Um, well, you know, if it's being used for gain, or cause the other party loss. Um, which is, is, I think, what, you know, Thunderfoot did with the whole histrionic personality disorder thing. And the other thing, I mean, he's quote mine as well. He's done it with me and taken bits I've, uh, I've put out of context and a whole load of other people. It's like, oh, for God's sake, man, grow up. I mean, you know, it's like Coughlin is, what, 17,000 subscribers? Um, Thunderfoot, over 100,000? You know, why Thunderfoot cares that much? Fuck knows. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's bizarre. Um, and I just I don't think you know. Okay, the way he's presented it doesn't look good for Richard or for Rith or, or you know the other people involved. He's putting a spin on it for for effect. You know, maybe they shouldn't have done it. But bloody hell, what a wanker! Um, I mean, if it was that big a deal, he actually cared about it. He'd have you know got in touch with the uh, with the host of the website, or he'd have you know filed suit wouldn't have gone on and made a bloody video about it you know we could have just pm them and say look this actually got to me you know it's fine if he comes out and says look this this got to me this upset me you know i mean he's done it you know he does the whole draw muhammad thing but you know okay people can get upset by different things you know sometimes you say something and it gets to you gets to someone or someone says something and it gets to you you know we're humans so i don't know i think he's, he's just taking it to try and be hyperbolic about it and I think he's a bit of a twat um, it's funny I mean like the, you know Thunderfoot is a science channel and there's this stuff about um, you know him getting back to science he said he was going to be getting back to science I mean it became really well known for the wider people laugh at creationist vids which was using, to be honest, not massively complicated science. Using it well and nicely presented to take apart nut bars. Um, you know, and just explain why they were just wrong and full of shit. And particularly Venom Fang X. Um, <laughs> it was a nut bar, let's be honest. Uh, you know, and it, I, I just don't understand why Thunderfoot can't see the difference between taking apart a particular nut bar, who happens to be a Christian, and taking apart all of you know all of islam i mean if you went after some of the nut job muslims on youtube you know why do people laugh at muslim creationists you know that would be that would be different but instead he's, he's doing this half-assed well it's not half-assed but half thought out politics attempt and he's not very good at it um eh. i don't know i was going to say something else then but i've forgotten what
Yeah, I don't know. There's like, you know, uh, all of this. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it's very, very silly. Um, I mean, and the thing, this is the thing with the, with comments and whatnot on YouTube. I mean, I've, I looked at the time at the comments on the upload of the discussion he and I had. You know, a lot of people just, you know, fairly unpleasant. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, his video is crossing the line. Um, photoshopping into porn is crossing the line. I mean, you know, there's almost a temptation to do a, a mock-up of that Larry Flint Campari poster that Hustler published. Um, yeah, um, you yeah, know, but with Thunderfoot instead of... Uh, um, it, yeah, see how he reacts to that. Because, I mean, there's case law on that. That's okay, we know. I mean, why has to start throwing around intimations of legal threats? It's a bit pathetic. It really is. I mean, and if that got out... I mean, because if that were into the sceptic community, he'd be fucking pilloried. Um, there is a big movement, in, particularly in British sceptics, for libel reform. Um, and that, you know, just something like that, I don't think would go down very well among them you know they'd probably say well it's some people being a bit childish and a bit silly and he's probably given more traffic to that and more publicity to that than uh you know than the others who'd probably taken it down after oh maybe they, they'd have just left it i don't know um yeah i mean i yeah um, I put up a survey yesterday. I remember I said I, I thought I'd be, I'd be happy if I got 150 responses. Um, I've got far more than that, which I'm delighted about. And come in, came in pretty quickly. I'll just have a quick look and see where where it is. Um, just, uh, just got to log into this thing, the survey modules. Um, Hopefully you can't tell what I was typing. Um, select survey. Um, yeah, I was expecting 150. I've got 613. So I'm delighted. I'm really very pleased. I'm going to leave it up for a, <coughs> a while. Obviously, I ask questions about how often do you watch my videos and so on uh at the moment the sample i've got is going to be the people who watch them all the time because they saw that so i'll probably leave it up for a week or so um because usually i get very very few weeks of views after a video has been up for for more than a week but it's, it's kind of fun and i was quite pleased with the easter egg i put in i thought that was even if i do say my, so myself quite quite a fun thing to do um and people seem to have appreciated it you know when you finish the thing it takes you to a thank you video that's unlisted so that was kind of yeah kind of a fun thing to do okay i'm totally fucking rambling now if you're watching this what the fuck are you doing really i mean this this is you know i'm just randomly talking about nonsense at the moment um but it's quite fun i suppose um i might do a blog tv later alice is um is uh, on call this evening so I might do a blog TV. That would be fun. Um, might do that. Yes. But anyway, um, I've been yeah. I mean, I'm just working out where I want to take the channel. I've got a few ideas now, a few different things I want to do. Um, I really do need to get back to the know your ism thing. I want to do that, but it's each each of those videos takes a long time to do, uh, particularly the fascism one. It was actually quite a lot of work. Um, I actually did quite a lot of research um, into into that. Um, and it's like the next ones I want to do will probably be.